Good morning all. The purpose of today's training session is to compare the ATP test results of two different mopping methods. So we've got the standard mop and bucket and then we've got the eye mop and we're going to take a before test reading and then an after. So we'll begin by doing the initial test on the mopping side. We've already done the calibration control set test on this to check that it's calibrated correctly. So we'll just take a test now of this floor. Okay, so we've got a 733 for the mopping side. So now we're just running our before test for the eye mop side. So the before test result now on the IMOP side is 306. So now we'll move on to doing our clean. So in the in the mop bucket we've got a bit of 10G cleaner LF, slightly alkaline cleaner, and likewise in the IMOP same ratio. So we'll start by mopping this mopping side. Don't slip over. Yeah. Now we'll run the arm off over the arm off side. As you can see, even, even visually, you can see there's a bit of a difference between the two different mopping methods. Now we'll proceed to uh, taking our ATP test and see what we've got. Alright, so now we're going to take the after results, on the, starting with the mopping side. So you are, there's been a significant improvement, there's still a long way to go to get a, to a satisfactory level. Now we'll proceed with our test on the high mop side.
So we've gone from in the 300s down to two. Clearly shows there's a significant benefit for using an auto scrubber like the iMop over against a traditional mop. We'll do a colour test now of the water out of the two units. Here's our iMop water. Very dark. So this just goes to prove the the results. We've got very little soiling in this one here and then very heavily soiled here. So I trust you've found this beneficial. So clearly it's better to recommend the eye mop over against traditional mopping methods. Thank you very much.